So today we're going to be joined, I'm uh, very excited to be joined by a gentleman who at one point was uh, considered to be um, one of the largest voices um, in right-wing uh, political movements in America. At one point was, uh, um, he coined the term alt-right, um, actually, which is remarkable to have something like that go down in history. Uh, he is, of course, Richard Spencer. Richard, thank you for joining us today. How are you? Yeah, my pleasure. I'm doing well. Um, so you obviously have had many issues free speech wise. Um, censorship has uh, played a huge part, a uh, role in your life. Um, I think back to a video uh, that I saw where you were punched in the face and presumably that's just for your views, you know, so that to me is a form of silence somebody is you know sure. to, to come up and blindside them and hit them and and basically punch them in the face with, with a, a cheap shot uh, basically because you weren't looking at the time did that was that painful physically to get hit in the face like that uh it, it not really painful physically yeah. um i i was fine it, it, it's kind of weird no it, it didn't actually hurt that bad but uh, it, it was rather shocking and certainly discombobulating. I mean, I, I um, yeah. when you get hit out of nowhere in the head, uh, you don't know uh, what's north and what's south and what's left and right. So, yes, of course, um, of course, yes. That that was um, that was obviously bad. I, I think I was just naive. Um, I, it went, looking back on it, uh, thinking that Antifa was a big joke. It's pronounced and Antifa. And. Uh, Okay. That's crazy to me that you don't know how to... That's wild. It's... Well, it's anti-fa, anti-fascist. Yeah, so anti-fa, but you call it you call it an, you call call it it a different I call it anti-fa. Well, well now I'll you do. I'll mispronounce their name. Hopefully it will offend them. I had certainly had experience with them, and they I had done co organized conferences and events that were publicly announced. The Unite the Right rally and stuff like that. And is that where it's I at? didn't organize that, but that, oh. that, that of course came afterward. Oh. Um, but uh, no, I was invited to that, but um, I had Congrats. organized conferences and so on. And um, it was basically a, they, they were kind of a nuisance, but they're almost more humorous than anything. Yeah. Um, they would come out and at very worst, they would scream at you or they sprayed uh, foam. Or it was milkshake, like they throw a milkshake at you or something like that. Like, uh, uh, never a milkshake. I think they, they did they that. But they do that at some people. They did it at like Andy, you know, he got a milkshake yeah, thrown at yeah, him. And I think it, uh, some other people did too. It was pretty, I saw those videos too. Those videos are pretty funny. Um, right. The video that you, of you well, getting punched in the face. I, I'm going to finish my point here. Um, so uh, I basically thought of them as a nuisance and kind of comical. And um, I, I think tw uh, 2017, uh, was a time when things really got real and that was your heyday um, uh, Sure, but what I mean is in terms of Antifa that oh you got a um, pronunciation right now uh, Yeah, right. Can you let me speak please just my apologies. I'm sorry. I'm trying to it's like for the live stream purposes It's like it's good to get a back-and-forth banter and you're just a little bit dominating the conversation is all I want to talk a little bit more about the video and well, how it's yeah, stood the test it, of time. Well, yeah, you're interviewing me so I will dominate the conversation. That's how it goes. Otherwise, I'm not interested. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm not here to learn about your views, to be frank. Okay. So um, I, I felt like it was, uh, I, I was naive and that things really got real and that it was something that I had to be concerned about. But I, I think in, in terms of censorship and Antifa, I mean, those are very different things. Obviously, there's Silicon Valley and uh, there's Antifa, which is, you know, extremely dispersed and um, you know, sort of kind did of... the pronunciation a little bit wrong again that time. You did it, you right. did it a little bit the way you did it before. Um, do you think that you're more or less famous now than the video of you getting punched? Like, which one of you do you think has stood the test of time? You yourself, because as I mentioned, 2017, you were quite a prominent figure and quite, you know, you were you seem to like um, have a place in the on the national. Um, but now it seems on the national stage, but now it seems like you're not, you don't, no one really cares about what you're up to. Whereas the video is still quite popular and people still do quite enjoy watching the video where you get punched. So do you think you are more or less popular than the video of you getting punched in the face? 
Um, well, yeah, I'm not sure you can separate the meme from me. No, um, I would say that it's the... you that it's that you're less popular than the video, um, because I think that you're uh -huh. here doing this thing with me, which is not a real show that I've tricked you into coming on. And you're doing this now. And at one point you were an actual figure in the like national movement. Now you're reduced to doing a fake show that somebody's pranked you into doing. All right. Well, what a prank you've done. Yeah. What's care to comment? Prank? Do you care to comment on that? Um, not really. I mean. What amazing prank. But it's just so, it just shows sort of how gullible and desperate you are to do anything at this point in your career that you'll just <laughs> respond to a random Gmail. It's just kind of sad to show where uh, you've fallen to. So I'm really sorry to see that, Richard. But uh, good uh, luck with everything in the future, my friend. And That was uh, really hilarious prank. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Just kind of you wasted five minutes of my day. Good luck, my friend.